Is this part one of the haul? I don't even remember. Let's go into it. I feel like this is part one of the haul. So if this is part one of the haul, hello, I'm Andre, and we're here to talk about all the things I bought that I probably didn't need. But I wanted, so here we are. So I do have some non-planner items here, along with some planner items, along with some items you're like, could be planner related, but probably aren't. So let's go ahead and get in. So let's go into a planner item, just in case you're like totally bored with me. Um, I have two here, and then I'll go into like some non-sort of planner items. So I did order, place an order from um, Sadie Stickers for one of her, like her regular size albums. She has large albums, which I have a bunch of, and I showed in my last haul, which I'll link down below if I remember. And then also um, she has uh, mini albums, and then she, I'm going to just show you, I guess. Hold on. So she has, this is her large album. This is her mini album, which fit her like icons. And then this fits like kits, and then this fits like character stickers, I guess, or like full box overlays or whatever. So she released these. I honestly didn't realize oops, that it wasn't foiled, and I'm kind of bummed. Like, did I not pick foiling or what? Um, because all of my like albums are foiled, so I don't know. Maybe I can. I don't know if I could foil this because I couldn't. I have to take the sticker off and then put it through a foiler. I don't know. And I'm not really good at foiling, but this is the. Um, regular size album and then it came with like a little freebie pack of different stuff so there was I think this was like her anniversary weekend you got like these freebies or something maybe if you spent so much I don't honestly know so that is the larger one and then there's these like regular ones on this like pretty like airbrush kind of cloud looking thing and then you also have letters to Apollo one with her date numbers on top and letters to Apollo lettering on the bottom and then some bow headers so yeah so if she releases these in foil i'll probably just get the foiled ones because i'm nuts and then just like de -stash. So oh, i could give this to bennett oh he would love it to put all those little stickers in Ugh, i love that kid so much and then let's go into a non-planner item because i have a lot of non-planner items here but this i mean this it depends on how you like planner stuff like it's not just planner stuff like we have a whole aesthetic we got our our washies our vinyls our planners our our vinyls our I don't know dashboards whatever so I did place an order these are pins and patches so I did place an order with two pineapples co and I was kind of surprised at how affordable the prices were um, of these pins so I don't remember exactly how much they were but I remember seeing the price and being like oh wow okay so they have a lot of like pass holder stuff so if you're a pass holder or like you just like the aesthetic I guess um, get yourself there but there is a pass holder pouch a pouch pa a pass holder patch which I want to put on like a Disney backpack like a diaper bag or something and they also had these super cute little vinyls so there's a Mickey like Christmas one and I like the style of Mickey it's not like a traditional it's kind of a little bit old school looking but like not really you know what I mean like it's a little different so this is the like mini mint one and then the uh like millennial pinkish is a little bit more purple tone than that but like that and then they also have pins which i the pins were really affordably priced i feel like they were like two dollars or something crazy something so crazy but i picked up these they have so many different ones and i think they even had like these were like a grade and then i think they had like b grade or something or just like not like or seconds i think they called them i think most other people called them like b grade or something i don't know the pin world is like a whole nother world but like ones that aren't like quite up to par but these are like the up to par ones but they had the other ones that were even cheaper so i got the mickey one in the like pink it's more like a peach with like green sparkles and then the mini in the uh like a greeny blue with green sparkles and then this marie one with pink with like a greenish colored yeah greenish colored sparkles and they all say pass water but i thought these were so cute and they're bigger than i thought they'd be which is perfect and I was just really, really pleased with this, like the pricing and then also the quality. And then I have some vinyls here from Elizabeth Guerrero Art. And this is a very like, um, like you, you have to like what it is for you to like, like them. So these are um labyrinth inspired vinyls in her like art style so i'm just like so in love with these i love this one so much i can't to warm and then little ludo and i don't know what the this might have been a freebie because there's no bunny in the thing but these were super cute and i couldn't not get these i mean it's ridiculous <laughs> so cute i just love them so much so i'll leave them like down below and they have some other stuff too i think they have like alice in wonderland inspired inspired stuff 
but I was just looking up like labyrinth stuff and I found those and I was like I need um let's go into a planner related item so I have some scripts here so these are from letters to Apollo and I have been waiting for these and I am so excited so let's see okay so I had ordered the uh, hot gold and I was like, oh, the hot gold doesn't match. So I asked her if she could just switch them out for the light gold. I think she just added them in. So now I have light gold and hot gold. So that's why I have these. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got. So I did order some of her $2 holler Tuesday things and I ordered order groceries with the little bow on it. I did order that in silver gold silver hollow and then hot gold and then like i said i asked her to like switch it out but she just sent me them because she's the best and then i also order let me show you in silver because it's easy as paint nails which is the one i was waiting for i'm so excited to have a paint nail script because i haven't painted my nails honestly should have before this played with me but like ugh, i'm feeling a little bit lazy so i did order paint nails in silver hollow and uh, light gold and then like I said I do have the hot gold as well now and then also the online shopping which I have been doing a lot of as you guys can tell and she also gave me the hot gold one so that is my small order from letters to Apollo I, like I said before if you're trying to match up like script color with ours I would do the light gold I think that it matches a little bit better um and then if you're ordering $2 haulers or whatever, I would order like two sheets of each because I was like thinking and I'm like, I probably could go through these pretty fast. And then I was telling Carson and I'm like, well, actually, I guess like I don't do a, like a gold spread every week, but like I should have hoarded more. Like I bought three of each of those waxes. Why am I not on the same train with $2 haulers? And then last but not least, I thought these were so pretty. So I had to show you guys had to, had to, had to. And I don't remember who these are by. Oh, yeah. Baxter & Co. It's, like, stamped on here. And these are metal signs. And this has, like, a thing so you can sit it on, like, your little bookshelf or whatever. And they have so many Disney-inspired metal signs at what I think is the most affordable price for this honestly i think it is for like a handmade painted metal sign they have so many different kinds they have ones that like you can stand they have key ring holders which is what this monorail one is this is in like a glossy lacquer white and then this one is in their like gold which is a little bit more like a mattish kind of vibe um and then they have like uh posts that are like magical inspired that you could put in your garden and honestly i'm just like high key obsessed i showed nick and he was like oh my god that's so cool and he even wants to get like little garden signs and we don't have a garden but i think they'd be cute like even if you have just like a front yard with like a little bit of like you know flowers or foliage or like whatever setup you have or just even like some dirt just throw in like a little magical like yard sign and call it a day but like i am obsessed i think the quality is like amazing i don't remember how much i, I feel like it was like 20 ish dollars but like i feel like they're so good like i feel like you'd get something like this at target not handmade not like i don't know it's just special whenever you have to pick the color you get to pick your design and like it comes came pretty fast and it's just quality stuff guys and magical inspired like y'all know i'm here for it and this is like a key ring like you put your keys on it but i figure i could put like little charms and dangles on it in my office and that'd be so 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 cute and this is also going to be my office i kind of want to order one for home too because it's like classy enough that i feel like you could just throw it on a shelf and it would blend in with like picture frames and stuff i'm actually going to order another one of these I think I just might place like another order. So I'll leave them like down below. But that's everything for this little portion. I know it's heavily like not planner stuff, but like stay tuned. There's like lots of planner stuff coming. So I'm here with another haul bit. I don't know if you guys noticed in my last haul like sec segment, I did cut out like a wax melt like haul because I'm going to just throw that into like its own haul. Just because like I know all, like I haven't had any complaints about the wax melts in there, but I have so many that I feel like I want to put them in the like their own haul. And then if you don't want to watch it, like, if you want to just be here for planner stuff, then you can be here for planner stuff. Like, maybe in the future, whenever they're, like, far and few between, few and far between, few and far between, I'll put them back in the halls. But for right now, I just make, like, one big wax melt haul. And then if you all don't like wax melts, you don't have to watch it. But I know for me, at least, I just like listening to somebody talk. That's half the reason why I watch hauls. And then also because I get influenced and I end up spending all the doll hairs. 
So let's go ahead and get into this portion of the haul. So I do have some organization stuff. I'm working on a huge, like when I have time. I honestly, I don't know like why I decided to do all the things like whenever I don't have time, but like we're just here like, oh yeah, like whenever I'm just already crazy enough, I'm trying to reorganize all my stickers. So I'm gonna link all this stuff down below as per usual, but I have ordered, I think four Avery binders. These are one inch ones. I have plans to organize, you know, my stuff, so I'm going to use these for some specific items possibly. If not, I'll save them because you can always use an Avery binder in your life, in work, home, school, all the things. Um, and they were relatively inexpensive. I also picked up a new type of dividers just for to have like a little bit even more variation. So this one has five pockets. So um, it's kind of cool because they're side loading, which is nice. So you have like side loading this way, that way, this way. So you have three that go horizontal and then two that are vertical. Um, but yeah, so I'll link these down below too. I thought that was kind of a neat configuration. And like I said, I'm reorganizing everything. So I want to have a variety of different types of sleeves to put everything in. And these fit like standard uh, hole punch binders. Let me see that they stick out. Why? Oh, is it because of the ring? Is that like the thing? Because I guess if it was this way. I don't know. I don't know if that bothers me. Does anybody know why this is a thing? Because I also ordered these sheet protectors and these are recipe protective sheets and I've never seen um, sheet protectors for a mini binder that has more than one section. So this is also from Amazon and these are for like recipe cards and I went ahead and put one in my binder and it is like bigger than the other ones. So I'm assuming, I mean, they made it bigger to fit like a recipe card and it would stick out a little unless it's like tucked a little. So you see how it like sticks out. So I don't know if it bothers me or not, but also I don't know what I was planning on using these for yet. I have like so many ideas and you know, whenever you have so many ideas that you're kind of like lost, that's just kind of me most of the time. I feel like and then I think things are really good ideas and they're not. Like the other day I was like, Nick, how can I like go to work and work a lot without missing out on time with the kiddos? And I like was thinking about it for a long time and I was like, oh my goodness, I could just go at night. I'm here, I'm here at night now. It's 8.45, both boys are sleeping. But I was like, I could just go at night. I could work like six hours and then like I won't miss time with the boys. And he's like, when would you sleep? And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't have the greatest ideas. They're like good, but not great, you know? I have been calling myself a noodle brain because that is where I'm at. It's like, I know baby brain's a thing, but I think there's like a separate like mom of multiples brain. I just, not all there. So this is from Sparkly Paper Co. This is Ashley. Hi Ashley, if you're watching. Um, she has a really cute little, um, bell, not vellum, bag thing. Cute little bag thing. And I ordered some items from her. I recently used the Lux collab sheets in my birthday spread, I believe, and I really, really loved them. Ooh, this is so cute. And I really, really loved them, so I went ahead and picked up some replacements to have, and then I picked up a couple of extra items. So, let's see. There was a little freebie in here, which is super cute. It's on matte paper. Let me zoom you guys in a smidge. Um, we're going to put this here. So then I ordered a uh, replacement, so I got the gold. So this is the like bottom washi. It's like again on my birthday spread. And then this is the full box overlays. Um, I think I used these three and I kind of like cut this one up to use on multiple boxes. And then I also figured like it might be a cute one to have also in hollow. So I picked that up. And then I also picked up her like Disney castles in gold hollow and silver just to have while I was placing an order, why not? And then I wanted to pick up some extra of her Lux collab. Are these like different? Are these made, oh, these are, are these manufactured now? Were these always manufactured and I just am like losing my mind? I don't know, I'm confused. Huh, all right, well, um, maybe, I, maybe I'm losing my mind. Oh yeah, they're manufactured. I thought they weren't manufactured. Anyways, 
I mean it's perfection foiling. So this is the um, vertical. So I thought, you know, it'd be really cool is if I was doing like stuff, I could put these in here. They are a little bit smaller, but like I kind of like the look of it. But also I wanted to use them in my cloud. So I have a hollow, sparkly hollow, a regular hollow, a silver, and then a gold. And then this is again in the uh, Lux collab with um, I think like Fox and Pip, Annie, Ashley, um, I guess Daydream, I feel like there's another shop, Fox and Pip, I don't know, okay, uh, Pigtails and Pockets, yeah, so, this is so good, I'm gonna order more, I think, because I feel like these are great for crafting, so, that's everything from Ashley, and I'm gonna let my camera cool down, and I'll be right back, okay, so I have a Order from Paper Shire. I haven't ordered from Paper Shire in a while, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm trying to be a little bit more honest because I feel safer recently. Is that I feel like her stickers were too dang big. And I've said it before, everybody said it. This is a really cute journaling card. I went to put it in my D stash pile and I looked at it and I was like, no, honey, you staying with me. Um, everyone said it, but it's just our stickers are too big. And I was just like getting annoyed to pay for stickers that I have to like cut and then like they don't look as good. But girl made her stickers smaller. So I am mega hype about that. So I placed an order. There was like three or four freebie sheets. She always has the most generous freebies, like full sheets for like 15 30 like always have specials going on but Bennett took them because every time I get mail he goes mail stickers so pretty can I have Bennett stickers and so I end up giving him stickers but I just gave him the freebies from this one so and then he didn't end up even using them but he has them so I'm sure he'll use them so this is called amusements and I thought this would be really good especially this one for going to Damon Buster's when this is all over and this is the game that I like to play, where you like shoot the coins and the coins fall out and you get little cards and stuff, like the Star Trek game. That's my jam, but I figure I can use the rest of them because I'm assuming like the boys are going to love that when they get bigger. I got the fast food boxes, which are so good. This is like a more like manageable size. I Maybe I should show you guys so that you know what I'm talking about. I actually don't even know like where I would even have any of these stickers. Oh my god, my, my character binder. Look at this. She thick. Yeah, I'm gonna reorganize like all my stickers. Cause y'all, it's getting it's getting a little crazy in here, I think. It's just getting a little too much. Uh, I shouldn't even know if I have any. Like, I guess this is an example. Like way bigger. So I'm like over the stinking moon that she reformatted her sticker sheets. Like her sticker sizes. Like this chicken. You can kind of see like the difference of those, but. It was just like, it was just even almost big for like a half box. So these sizes are just way, way, way better. So I'm super excited because she does come out with releases like pretty consistently weekly. And I'm all about a consistent like new release shop because I like to buy. Then you have kids music, which is just like kids toys. And I really like the color range of that one. And then you have the cleanup ones. Again, I really like the colors of those. Hot dogs. I love hot dogs. I really didn't like hot dogs growing up very much. I'd always be like, I'll have a burger or a piece of chicken whenever we're grilling. But I think because Ben eats so many hot dogs, like he is obsessed with hot dogs that I have been recently obsessed with hot dogs. And this one's called Bagel. And I kind of want to order more of these. I do have the ones more with Love Bagels. But this actually looks more like the bagel I get. Not the avocado, because like I don't like avocado. I think I've talked about this before. But I'll still use it because it's a really cute bagel. But um, yeah, the only way I eat avocado is Uchiko does this roll. It's literally just like rice avocado and then something on the avocado. Like something. But it's so good. I don't even know why I like it. But I could eat like six pieces of that. And then there's the museum ones, which I don't like museums. But Nick drags me to them all the time. And then the aquarium, which I would rather go to an aquarium. I love watching jellyfish. Um, wooden toys, which is great for marking playtime. And again, these are just like the most perfect dang size. Like this train, uh, this little family, I kind of want a whole sheet of the little family in neutrals. And just like a wood color. That'd be beautiful. Tabletop games, again, beautiful sizing. Like I could cry about it. It's beautiful. I love the little like, um, what is this game called? Where you like drink and, and throw things in a cup. Ugh, I don't know. Then there's the playground ones, which are so cute. Ben has like a little ball thing in his room, sandbox. Oh my god, adorable. Play-Doh and Legos, which this is like our most used toys is Play-Doh and Legos. Then Montessori toys, which I actually, um, Bennett loves um, 
blocks he did not get into the like string with the you, like twitch string through things i haven't tried it in a while though and then i bought a theo one of these rainbow things um it should be coming soon and i got like a pastel rainbow then casino which i thought would be good for if i go to vegas art gallery again i don't really like like museums and art galleries but nick likes to go to them uh treasure trackers for mario i actually mar like really like mario game boards which these are adorable like these are all so beautiful and i'm like i always loved our stickers so much these are so cute planning markers and valentine's i always loved our stickers so much so i was always like it's just such a shame that they're so big but now i'm just like this is like one of my favorite character shops so this is paper shire formerly known as toffee bananas then i have another order in from c amy draw and i just feel like this is gonna be a problem because i placed an order with her before i even got in my last order like when does that happen actually it happened again I'll tell I'll explain why so this is just the same journaling card and then I have a little switch with my name on it which I don't play switches but I'm gonna keep it because of my name on it and then you have the highlight of my day which is super cute and then she also threw in a little like a uh, beach vinyl then I ordered some stickers of course so I have a bunch of them on here in here so I have uno ones which i i feel like i don't like anything i don't like uno uno is actually one of my least favorite game uno parcheesi and sorry are my three least favorite board games and i do play uno though if it's like everyone wants to play uno it's actually i think one of kirsten's like favorite games um at least uno on her phone and then there is the connect four which i'm sure i'll play and just like a regular little board game and then i did get some of her scripts i'm not a fan i'm not a fan of anything i just i feel like i'm the worst person in the whole entire world right now i'm not a fan of white paper scripts but her handwriting is so pretty and i really loved the scripts that she did um i'm not gonna read any of my audios in case you have kids around i'm sorry if your kids can read just tell them to look away so this is one of the scripts and i just i'm like i'm gonna make these work and then there's this one that says uh not here for it which is me and then there's this one which has bad bad words on it so i just figured you know there's a time and place for everything and in my planner it must be so then i also picked up some of the uh wax melts so i have the warmer with the wax on top and then i got three of the like disney wax melt and i just think they're so cute i like died when i saw she was drawing these on her stories they're just be yay beautiful and i am so excited because i'm a wax melt addict i would say addict which doesn't really make any sense but and then there's this one which is also me um it says try not to kill anyone and break a nail and then try not to kill anyone and then try not to get, kill anyone and get caught i feel like i could cut half of these off and give them to kirsten too but these are on like a matte transparent paper which is cool. I kind of wish all of them were on the like transparent paper, but I'm gonna make them work because I just think her stuff is adorable. So that is the Amy Draw. And then last but not least, I do have again two orders. I placed another order before the shop even um, shipped my order because they had new releases. And I'm like so impressed. And I love this art style like so much that it's like insane. So she has little girl characters as well as little dinosaurs, which I mean, y'all know dinosaur characters here for it. Um, and the paper is like a buttery matte. The printing's really, really nice. Um, and then I really just love the art style. I don't know. I'm just like really, really, really enjoy every single sheet of these and the detail that is in all of them. Like this is the sticker sheet with her just like on her phone, but you have her on the phone with the coffee, her on the phone, like chit chatting, like a FaceTime and then her like taking like a little selfie. Like he, ugh, it's just so good. This is the little freebie. So again, I placed two orders. This is the little freebie. I feel like this reminds me of Kirsten. I love the bunny like sweeping and then this leave me alone. The sandwich. I mean the recycling. Like look at the detail in that recycling bin. And in person it's going to be a hundred times better than it is on the screen guys. You just need to like check out the shop. It's just the the printing and then the, the butteriness of the paper. It's like very white so I think the colors are showing up really pretty. So this is the sandwich, which again, like, just look at the detail on the sandwich, please. Like, she didn't have to do that. Or they, sorry, I hate assuming that everyone's a girl. But they didn't have to do that, but they did. And it's so good. So you have sandwich, you have, like, a little, uh, like, look at this chicken nugget in the sauce. In the sauce. Ah, and all the french fries. Look at all those french fries. I'm just amazed. And I don't know how to pronounce this. So if anybody wants to give me a phonetic down below, I'd appreciate it got the pretzels, you got the pizza. I love this. Like, look how nice this looks. 
It's not just your average bag. Like, it just the details. So obviously I had to get two of those. Salad, again. Like, I just, I'm just, I'm just blown away. They're the perfect size, too. You got the pho. I want pho so bad. Or ramen. Give me something. Oof. Again, more bagels. I'm, I'm pretty big on bagels. Like, look at this grocery pickup. Look at all the, like, different things in there. It's just beautiful. And again, I honestly don't think that it's even showing up as, and I needed turkeys, because no one has turkey stickers and burgers. It's not showing up even as half as good on camera as it is in person. Another freebie that's beautiful. Just so cute. Grocery carts, treadmills, shaking. I, I got this one for Kirsten. This is like a piggy bank one. I thought she budgeted so it would be cute. Groceries, throwing the printer, which again I got for Kirsten because she has her days. This one was really funny. It's just like flipping off and like clapping. I feel like I clap a lot when I get mad. And then there is the bag over the head. The laundry baskets. I feel like there could be a little less space in here, but like honestly, like just these laundry baskets are just so pretty and neutral. And you have the little um, stand mixers, which again, probably gonna actually give these to Amanda because I'm not gonna pretend that I'm gonna bake something. And then there's this one, which is just kind of like you can use for marketing groceries or cooking. Like look at the details. Look at the details. It's insane. And even this one, like it's so good. You got like a little shopping with all these different colors, really nice colors, not too bright so pretty cooking they're so cute they have two different sizes on those ones um the piggy bank where you're like crying again i got that for kirsten she loves to budget so we're just we're just loading her up then there's the one that's like watching tv and just like i just love the angle of this and just like it's a quality drawing here and i'm here for it this one's a period one which i Look at just the different ones that there are. I'm just really, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. And I'm like, what don't, what didn't I buy? I need to buy it. Oh, and this is another one for Kirsten. So you can look at the variety here of just different, different budgeting stickers. My camera overheated, but like the different budgeting stickers here. So you have like looking in and like seeing like, oh, is there any money in there? And then you have like, well, we're going to just like smash it and get the money out. And like, there's no money in my purse. And then you also have the one where it's like smashing the the one with the money in it and this one's like doesn't have any money i don't know i just thought these were really cute and i was like buy them all so those are for kirsten i'm gonna give these ones to amanda um but i just really love this shop i'm gonna go place another order see if they're gonna new releases soon because i'm just really a fan really big fan i'm gonna say ben beneva 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 anybody have any better ideas beneva creations beneva I have a feeling I'm gonna be talking about them a lot, so I'm gonna to need to know how to pronounce this name because I am a fan. I don't even know what my favorite is. I think it's a, definitely a mixture between the nugget inside the sauce, the groceries, which are really, really pretty. Like this grocery pickup is just like phenomenal. I don't even mind that they're all red. Normally I'm like, oh, I wish they were like multicolored, but I love the red. I don't know, I just like, I'm a really big fan. I really do like the printer one, but I don't ever like really wanna kill a printer, but. That's more of a Kirsten thing. So I'm, I'm a fan. Definitely check them out. That's everything in my little haul. I'll be right back with probably another little portion. So I have just two things here, but this has so many like little products and I thought I don't want to rush through it in a haul. So I have two things here. So the first thing that I have is from Amazon and I wanted to order, I just filmed like a huge wax haul and there's like little bits of stuff everywhere. So this is a two inch mini binder. And I mean like, did I ever think I needed a two inch one? Let me show you guys what I have. So this one is my like regular size one that I feel like you can find at Target. That's an inch, I believe. And then I do have one that I think is an inch and a half, but for some reason from an inch and a half to two just seems like massive. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm um, probably going to, I actually don't need it. I don't know, I'm not gonna say. So I am gonna, I don't know, these rings look terrible. Oh, it's just, okay, cool. Never mind. So I'll link this down below on Amazon and I'll put it in my like organization, but I have like an idea. Like there's, there's a lot of organization that has to happen. I like, I keep saying like, I don't have time to organize things, but like I'm sitting here like I have so many ideas. It's just, I haven't had time to like execute them. And then I do also have an order and this is my subscription from cloth and paper, which I just really love their aesthetic. I'm like a big fan and I feel like they're like, 
they're a very very large shop i can tell based on like their behind the scenes stuff and then also just the way that they like present themselves you could just tell that they're like they know what the heck they're doing um and i just feel like impressed constantly impressed and i love their aesthetic and i'm just here for it so i had placed an order before and when i placed that order before even like getting the order i signed up for their subscription i think i signed up for the three or six month without even really like knowing what is in it um so i signed up and i got the b6 size because that's like where i want to be in my professional life and i feel like this just makes me feel like super professional even though i'm not like that professional um so this has like everything's just so nice um there's so much stuff in here okay so i really love this card and it doesn't just tell you what is in it it tells you about what's in it which i really like so let's go into it so maybe in the future i'll kind of like zoom a little bit more through it but i feel like or let me know do you guys want me to zoom through or do you need to like go through everything let me know this is so freaking cute okay so this is the contacts inserts so these are new i'm not sure if how they do is like maybe they premiere new stuff in here because it says okay so there's things there's two things that say new so maybe they'll like bring these to shop later Ooh, this is just it's everything's so sexy there's no other there's no other word for this like sexy chic like professional like so nice so everything's on a nice bright white paper and i love the black is just like ultra black i think i mentioned that in the last part where i talked about them and this is just a contacts insert so you have you know your normal name phone email website address notes birthday i like the birthday area because i'm just like horrible at birthdays that's something that i think was like one of my new year's resolutions a couple of years ago was to like get better at birthday cards and i need it till like i think march and then i was like i'm tired but like one day i'll be like really good at it and this will be very handy the next thing in here is another new insert and this is called the wish list nope just kidding it is called the wish list for i'm honestly gonna, gonna be honest with you for a second or is this wish list for blank i guess so i'm the kind of person who normally doesn't have a good wish list going because if i want it i'm just like getting it or if i want it and i don't get it it's because i've talked myself out of it because i think it's a bad decision and i wouldn't ask for it from anybody else because i didn't think it was good enough for me to buy that's kind of like my thought process but i think that this would be cute for ideas for other people so like a wish list for nick wish list for bennett wish list for theo wish list for kirsten and then i could kind of reference these um for gift ideas i think that'd be a cute way of using them um but there also, I guess, is some things that I like, I'm like, oh, dang, I really want that. And then I'll talk myself out of it. And then like a couple months later, I'll like rethink about it. Maybe that's like something I could put on a wish list. Um, I don't know. I feel like normally if I can like talk myself out of it, I'm like, I'm good. Then there is also this here, which is the undated daily sampler inserts. So this is two fresh styles of a daily schedule layout for you to try. One modeled after a today pad, another with room to make your own custom list and jotting down daily inspiration. I really like their fonts. Okay, so it looks like there is this insert here. And I got the B6 size. They have like 100 different sizes you could pick from. Um, and then these are nice because, ooh, I love this paper smell. It smells like the Erin Condren paper. It could be. It literally smells like the, the donut smell like I always talk about. It could be the Erin Condren paper. Though I feel like this is like a nicer color than the Erin Condren. Now I want to know. Where's my Erin Condren? Where's an Erin Condren? You need it here. No. This is definitely a bluer and this is a warmer. But it smells, no joke, legit the same as an Erin Condren paper. And I don't think I've ever smelled paper before. And thought it smelled exactly like Erin Condren paper. So, it smells good. And then there is this one here. So, you have the, like, daily. And then you have this one, which is the... I guess also like a daily. But they're just different kinds of dailies, which is nice. You can kind of, like, switch it up, try things. Then if you decide that you really like something, then you can purchase, like, a whole set of it. Um, my in-laws just texted me. So you got like three little like insert packs. Hold on. I'm so unprofessional. That's what I'm talking about. Um, then there is the Atelier dashboard. Is that how you say that? I'm not like a really good reader slash pronunciator. So this is Atelier noun, a workshop or studio, especially one used by artist or designer. Oh, is that like the theme? 
Um, newest stylish designs created in their planning machine below Ashley's birthday. Happy birthday, Ashley. I'm assuming I think that's the owner. I think I saw. Um, but yeah, so this is like a dashboard, and I just feel like all our stuff's so nice. Like I feel like I just want everything to be this. Um, then there is the photo texture dashboard. So actually, okay, I like opened this and I was like, what the actual heck is this? So it says Ashley wanted to share her love for architecture and share a piece of her home with you through this sleek photo dashboard to use with your vellum collection. I think this is weird. It looks like a ceiling um, because that's like, it looks like a sprinkler. And then, yeah, I think this is a ceiling. I get it. I think maybe if you put like a Lux vellum over it, it would look like it would have like a different vibe. Just like something different. Um, probably wouldn't use it, but I get the idea and I appreciate the idea. And then there is also the world clock dashboard, which is another thing. Like I, this isn't functional for me, but I think that this, the whole aesthetic of like clocks is really cool. So this is because of Ashley's love for travel. We included a brand new reference dashboard to tuck in your planner showing time zones around the world. Something I would Google, but again, I like the aesthetic of, like, clocks. And then, um, let's see. The next thing is the new color Dirty Chai Circle Sticky Notes. And this is just a circular sticky note. Oh, that's cool. I kind of want to feel these. So I feel like... Oh, it looks like... It kind of looks like it would have a texture of a Band-Aid, but it's, like, smooth. That's neat. It looks like, um... How do y'all tell? It looks cool. It looks like it has like a texture to it, like a light like bandage kind of texture, but it doesn't and that's neat. I like that. So they're just circle sticky notes. Super cute. Again, they're like even like the packaging just looks fancy. And then there's the inbox sticky notes. So these are just like your normal like big sticky notes. I really like them because they're simple, white, lots of room for writing. So this is date, subject, and then you have room to write. And again, just really nice and like simple. And then there is also the espresso page flags. These are really pretty. So it's a nice like um, neutral dark brown color. And these are just the kind of like, they're like semi-transparent. Do they call them transparent? No. They have some the color. Love for classic espresso. Yeah, they're like the semi-transparent ones. You see the... But they're nice. They're su I like this color because it's super neutral. It's like doesn't have, and I guess it's like cooler toned brown. And then there's also the, um, okay. There's also the new color Fawn Matte stickers. This is a really pretty color. So I got the stickers before and I was like, I don't really know what they're gonna, what I'm gonna use them for. And I still really don't know what I'm gonna use them for. But you guys have any ideas of things I can use them for? Let me know. So it's just the same sticker sheets, but it's in this like really nice cool toned gray color. So this one says, perfect for color coding, five shapes, circle, hexagon, squares, tapes, rectangles, and corners, triangles. So color coding. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I'm sure I'll find something. But if you guys have any cool ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Then there is some journaling cards. So there's this. Ask for what you want and be prepared to get it. And then there's this, which I'm assuming is the journaling cards. That might have been like a freebie or something. I don't know. So this one is the Jador Clear card. Oh, these are cute. That's really nice. And then you have the month view for June. It's like really, really faint. But I feel like they were trying to kind of match maybe this color. I know. I don't know. But it's cute. I like it. And then there's also my wish for you card. This one. My wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to. Your dreams stay big and your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you can hold. And while you're going, while you're out there getting where you're getting to, I hope you know somebody loves you. That's really cute. I feel like that's something I would like put in one of the boys' scrapbooks. It's adorable. And then this one is the future card. So the future is always beginning now. And then this is the, um, I don't know what card this is. Um, but this is just that print and like a little card, which is cute. So that is everything from the subscription. I feel like you got a lot for like the value. Um, they also have like a pen add-on as well. So if you like are into pens, 
that's something that you can like look for and I'll go ahead and link them down below. So this is gonna be the last portion of all. I feel like this haul is already a little bit long. Well actually I'm cutting out the one max wax melt part because I'm doing a full blown wax melt haul which is gonna be forever and I feel like there's a lot of good chatty bits in it so like if you hate wax melts like might be cute to watch but like also you don't have to. I have plenty of other videos up. So let's go ahead and get into this haul. I do have a lot of like new to me shops actually all them new to me shops in the hall so i'm gonna leave these till last oh goodness good i was like did i just show my address i hope not i'm gonna have to be very cautious i don't know how these shops like package stuff i opened some of it but not all of it so i do have an order in from once more with love and none of this is for me so i mentioned that i wanted to start like collecting stuff for a really big uh giveaway and i think i'm gonna be doing like a christmas in july giveaway and i want to do two winners so i did place an order with once more with love for a bunch of different up. excuse me I burped I just had my chai and um so I picked up oops, I got some stuff on here uh I picked up two sets of like goodies for you guys I feel like there's just been a lot of this in my hauls I'm sorry so I picked up two sets of like really cute items for this like portion so I got um the large reusable sticker book the small reusable sticker book because honestly i use these every dang week for my um plan with me's i do want to do a video um about like how i set up my like stuff to like be ready for a plan with me so i'll show that more in those and then i do also have two of the aura cell um collab not collab aura cell pouches the collab with ones more with love these are actual leather mine is like a pu this one's like a real one and it does fit once more with love sheets i want to have one right here if it's once more with love sheets in here people also use it for like a passport holder um it's a two-hander for sure so if it's once more with love sheets, you could fit quite a few in there. It's really luxe and high end. It looks like really expensive. So um, there are two of those I bought. And then um, I do also have some stickers that I purchased for the giveaway. Um, I'm trying to order a bunch of different things to kind of, you know, mix it up a little bit. I think I'm going to order some Olive and June nail polishes to put in here um and some other things but i did order the um, marg's favorite sheets just because i thought that that was a really good one the staying in bed bucket list i also ordered the face masks ones because i'm just trying to be current also wash your hands and also work from home with text also there was um the freebie which i'm going to keep because i love the teddy bears sorry guys and then there is the stay at home like freebie that she sold and then also the cloud planner um little vinyl and I'm I know for a fact that Tiki will do some kind of like credit for a cloud or something whenever I do this so that'll be like another thing to look forward to I'll have to find little um packages for these but there's gonna be a ton of stuff because I also have this big like washi roll de stash of like of rolls that I've never opened that I'm gonna put in there as well and then I have a bunch of other things that I want to pop in so I'm really excited about this I want it to be like a really really big fun giveaway there will also be SBC stuff of course because I mean duh and then i also i'll show this in this little portion as well oh and then kirsten gifted me this i think i bought this one because i forgot that she bought it for me she was waiting to film her like haul to give it to me and these are the paper shire like play-doh legos but i could obviously use a ton of those it's like a really like we do it a lot in my house then i got this from amazon which i'll link it down below and it's a little uh stylus and i'll show you guys like what you can do with this um real quick so i've been doing a lot of like instagram storying and like trying to like up my instagram game i don't know if that you could tell um but i wanted to be able to kind of like work on my stories a little bit more so i wanted to buy a stylus i used to have a stylus um but i don't know exactly where i put it so you can this is like my story and then you can take i hope this is like this is a new one so you could take like this and then you can like draw on it and it's like just easier for like writing things so if I wanted to write like a message it's not like obviously your fingers way harder to write with there's also this side which is like the you know the normal stylish that's more of like a it's more for pressing things but also you can write with it but this is what this looks like how is my battery already dead I'm getting a new camera today and I'm so excited because it was just at 45% and I'm really annoyed with it um and I don't really understand because I 
I've been using this camera for so long and all of a sudden it's like nah so but I just think that this is super cute so I'll go ahead and link it down below it was really affordable but it'd be great for like drawing um kids stuff too like if you or if you have like an iPad and don't want to like buy an Apple pencil it doesn't like connect with Bluetooth but you know you can get the same kind of effect um obviously not like this you know as exact or anything but I think that this is great as like an alternative and a really inexpensive alternative I also think this would be a really cute little like stocking stuffer for Christmas so I miss doing those kind of videos where it's like, um, where it's like gift ideas. I don't know. I just miss it. So I do have a lot of shops here. This one I have to email. This was, it was just a vinyl shop though. It's not like a sticker shop because they like mess up my order big time. But, um, I'm going to let my camera charge and then I'll be right back to show you guys these. But these are all, besides this one, new to me shop. So I'm really excited to show you guys. Okay. We're at 81%. Let's see how this goes. So let's go ahead and get into this Oh, I'm excited because I opened all these and I was so pumped. So I did get an order in from Pumpkin Paper Co. And I haven't ordered from them in years. I feel like it has been. And the reasonings behind that is, is that their sheets were always like, they were always actually bigger than this. I think they were like the half sheet size, kind of like my kit size. So they never really fit perfectly into my character storage. But I do have like a bigger section for Disney. I'm actually thinking about making like a whole Disney like binder so that whenever I like go to Disney or like need a Disney sticker, I could just like open that because I have Disney foil, Disney kits, Disney characters, so much stuff. So, and also their old paper used to like to pick up stickers would be a pain and half the time they would rip. But they have changed their paper and I am like really, really excited about it because it's a little bit more of like a thick paper and all of the cuts are like so beautiful. So I was really excited that I did decide to pick up their stickers again because they are really, really, really cute. And I do really like that their new characters, like the Terras, do have legs now. So they used to be like this, which are still super cute. I had bought a lot in the day, but I really think that like adding like the like legs and arms is just like, they're adorable. So I decided to pick these up just as like a tester to see because everybody has been tagging me like oh if you're looking for Disney stickers definitely look there um, and I they're so cute so I was like let me try and they're perfect so perfect cuts perfect paper really excited the printing's really beautiful and I'm really really excited so this is the little postcard that came with it I really like this um, I'm gonna probably send this to Jess because she cried last time because I said I didn't have anybody send a postcard to uh, listening I'm gonna send it to you and then this is just like a little thank you card, which is super, super cute. So let's go into the stickers that I purchased. Like I said, I bought all Disney related uh, stickers just because they are really, really cute. I like the variety on the sheets and I think the sizing is really nice as well. Um, so I did pick up one of these, which is just kind of like planners and like, you know, cameras, like different things like that. And then this one here has like ride inspired elements to it. So I just love the Haunted Mansion one so much. It's so cute. So you can, for these ones, pick, like, the skin tone and hair color, which I think is really, really awesome. And I love this little Dumbo one. It's so cute. And then this one here is just kind of, like, different Disney-bound slash Disney outfits with different plushies, which is adorable. And they do offer, um, like, custom ones, which I don't... I was going to try and get a custom one, but I feel like, I mean, this could be me. Um, but I think that there's like more different like things you can pick with that one. I don't know though, because I feel like this could just like envision like this is me. This is pretty much me. And you got so many different outfits. Like I love the little like Buzz inspired one is super cute. And like you have Alice inspired. Um, and I just think they're so, so dang adorable. And then you have this one, which is all the snacks. I have so many Disney snack stickers. And the fun thing, the funny thing is, is I actually not like a huge fan of most Disney snacks. I prefer Disney food, but like Disney snacks are just so cute. You can't like not be like into it. I got these because I like having like Disney stickers that are like just like a Mickey related item that aren't super specific because then you can use it to mark different things like I might use these to mark what resort we're staying at or something like that and then I also did pick up these little boys because uh, Bennett does have blonde hair and then I also picked up these because Theo has brown hair I don't know if Theo's hair is going to stay brown I'm like really hoping because I'd love to have like one little blonde boy one little br brunette boy but um, if not I can put those to use for sure so and then there is the castles which again I thought were super cute for like marking like magic kingdom days and they're all different colors which I think will mark like be really good in like planners because you have the five different color schemes which is nice different spreads and then you have the couples which these are not like customizable there's just like a lot of different combos 
Um, if you have friends that also are like the same hair color skin tone as you, you can have different like partners with different hair colors. Just like use the ones that are for you and you know switch. But I'm probably just going to use all of them because like I don't really care. Or if I'm like going with a friend, I can kind of like coordinate. And then uh, there's the backpack ones from Behind with the Balloon, which again is like really neutral, so you can mark like anything. And then you also have the friends ones, which. I mostly go with family, but just in case, it's nice to have these. And again, there's just a, there's a ton of different combos. So like, I feel like there, you know, there's different bunches. So you have four with this kind of combo, four, four, two, and then three and three. So you have like a lot of different options here. And again, like if you don't have somebody like a blonde friend, you can totally switch with your friend or just use it anyways. Cause honestly, who cares? So there's that. Let's go into Cosmic Designs Co. And they wrote me a cute little note, which is so sweet. And the shop owner's name, it looks like Amanda. So let's open this. And I bought this because there's also Disney-inspired stickers, which I was really excited about. I'll link all these shops down below, of course. And um, this is just a little freebie here. So it's like a rose gold vinyl freebie. Then there's also these, which I don't think I ordered these, and these are just post-it notes, which I could always use more post-it notes. There's also these, which I don't know if I ordered this either. Um, I don't think I did. And these are just like little Baby Yoda stickers or Yoda stickers in general. I'm not going to open it, but you guys can see. And then these are all of the items that I ordered, so I am super excited. They are on like a really nice buttery mat. I forgot to mention that also the uh, Pumpkin Paper Co. is also like a really nice buttery mat. Um, and then these are just different like park inspired so you have like the larger ones on top and then the smaller ones which is nice because you have a variety and I like the colors of these because I don't feel like they're I feel like they are like symbolic to where you're going but not like super bright or like you know weird to mix with other colors in a spread um, and I haven't found a lot I feel like a lot of them have like either like bright blue or bright pink and like you know if you're doing a all pink spread putting a bright blue sometimes is a little bit jarring so I did pick up three of those I had high hopes for these and they are really pretty and I love the sizing of them then there's this one here which is just make mini ears and then you have like different inspired ears here which are super super cute I actually have those ones then I also got these RVs I think that they're like Etsy really gets me with like the minimum um the minimum order like to get free shipping like obviously like the seller sets it but like whenever there's that little bar that Etsy has I'm like well might as well just add a couple things in there um so I got the like RVs because eventually we're gonna probably start going camping like when the boys are a little bit bigger because Nick's parents also like the whole like camp life and I actually grew up like glamping like pretty much like all summer and like all the time and I also have done like rugged camping like intense I don't think I've ever actually slept outside like without a tent, but I've I've slept in tents like and ha I've had crazy experiences in tents. And then um, the Halloween party one, which is another one I added just because I was like I had to get to the the minimum quantity order. And then I think that this one's supposed to be kind of like I mean it might be not Animal Crossing related, but I feel like I've seen like the little present with a balloon Animal Crossing. But otherwise, like maybe it's also not. But I thought this was cute. Maybe to mark like a birthday at Disney or something like that. And then also you have snacks pink snacks, two of the pink snacks, and then you also have the teacups, which I thought was really, really cute. So that is everything. These ones are a little bit big, um, but I can always cut them down like I do with pretty much everything. So I thought these were super cute, really nice quality, really nice cuts, and they arrived very, very fast. Then we'll move on to Kitty Mint Co., which I have also, the rest of the, besides uh, Pumpkin Paper Co., I have not ordered from the rest of these shops. This shop, I think, gave me a lot of extras, because I don't remember ordering a lot of it, so um, really excited about that. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this. I got my little invoice here. Yeah, I don't know what I ordered. Yeah, I think they definitely gave me a bunch of extras, so thank you. So first thing here, I think that, I don't, I think that these were all extras. Well, and... Possibly these, maybe, and these, maybe. I don't honestly don't know. Honestly don't know. Okay, so I I'm not sure. So let's kind of separate these actually for sticker sheets. So there's a bunch of different like kinds here. So I'm pretty sure that they sent me all these, and then I might have ordered possibly these. I honestly really could not tell you. But I'll separate them by like paper type I could go through the like little invoice but that just seems like a lot of work so let's go through these so first thing that they sent me is a kit and I think I saw them posting about this on Instagram and this is like their like cheetah kit and it has a hot gold foil to it so you have 
full boxes here, which are super cute. And then you have some functional items, some squared off boxes, some flags, some deco. You have washi strips and possibly headers, a like checkbox, some appointment labels, some like mini boxes, heart checklist labels. And then these two sheets are foiled as well. So you have like little like layering bits, some bottom washi, some like kind of like hybrid looking fancy labels. Oh, that peels up really easily. Oop. And it's on like a premium mat, like a buttery premium mat. And the foiling's really nice on this. And then you have date covers, um, headers, some check, some like clipboards, icons, and some more headers here. So that is their like foiled kit. I'm assuming this is like the bigger kit or maybe it's a mini kit. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, and then I also got some stickers on their matte paper. So I got some clear ones and then also some of the, oh, there's more in here. Some of the uh, matte ones. So these are just like Mickey heads and these are all on like white paper. I thought that these would come in really cute to kind of like make my Disney spreads look a little bit different. Again, I really want to set up like a whole Disney like album to like be able to like have all this stuff organized. And then there's this one which I thought was really cute as well, which has the castle in a cloud. And I ordered some of these in like multiple foils, of course, because why the heck not? Um, there's also this one, which is checklist, a little like clip, um, some half boxes, um, and then some appointment labels, and maybe I'll write on this. Let me double check. Um, where the heck's my normal pen? The heck, the heck, the heck. I know I have like 30,000 up here, so like, oh no, I found it. I don't want to crack open a new one. Okay, cool. And then little flags. And again, I ordered these in like all different foil colors because that's just the way I need to go. And then this one's like a thought bubble, but it has the little Mickey head. And then you have some stars, which are super cute. The peaches, the little um, like gem looking hearts, butterflies, um, stars, clipboards, Mickey hands. And some of these have like more pattern backgrounds, like little notepads, Animal Crossing thingies. Um, little thought bubbles and then some more castles and then there's also some clear stickers which I ordered these just oh and then there's this one too so I got that one and that too so then there's clear stickers and I think that there's just this one design and they're just like like Disney inspired icons so I'll just show you I got them in all the foil colors um, and multiples I think I got like five of each because I'm just like that level of nuts and I got them because I thought they'd be cute to mark things like in the week maybe necessarily like I wouldn't like work out at Disney because it's also just not my life but if let's say I'm going to Disney um Friday to Sunday and I still have the beginning of the week I can use some of these other items just to kind of pull in the magical kind of elements to the boring parts of the week like cooking and cleaning and stuff but you have like a ton of different icons on here I thought this was a really cool concept I haven't seen anybody else do like I see like so many icons that have bows on them but like icons that have Mickey heads on and that's just next level so you have the little bucket a little oven mitt grocery shopping coffee more coffee thought bubbles suitcase workout uh, or lifting I guess um, laptop letter takeout trash movies and I think none of these you could still use you know Disney plus this is this is really good so kind of these you could also use like when you go but like I just think also or if you're just like a crazy Disney lover like me like maybe you just want to use Disney icons all the time and then I also got some vinyls, so this is a super cute little, like, pass holder card, which is, like, obviously inspired by, like, the pass holder card. And then you have this one, which is the always, and I'm going to put this in the front of my cloud, because I have, like, a little, like, vinyl, trying to think of the word, like, the die cut section and I really like having like some Harry Potter elements in there too. A little pass holder with the gold, the LV Louis a symbol in hollow, silver, and then I also got it in gold because I also like like the luxe kind of stuff. And then you have the silver pass holder. There's this one which is just like a cup with a straw. Pass holder life. I'm currently not a pass holder but we're gonna be pass holders as soon as we feel like we're ready to like go. Um, believe um, this one's on a hollow with that cup the pass holder stitch the steamboat Mickey in the pass holder and then also the alien and then also the pass holder life and hollow and then the super cute girl in the hollow as well so thank you so much for all the extras I do appreciate them and I'm really, really excited for all of this stuff and then I also have an order in from 
uh, Bella of the Modest Cat. The Modest Cat, I believe, is what their shop name is. Or it would be a cute little note, which was super sweet. And then, um, yeah, it came in this little package here that has, like, info in it. And it came wrapped, like, really, really prettily. But, like, I had to crack open everything and, like, take a peek before I did a haul. So everything is in this, like, hollow, like, cello, which is super cute. And then it had, like, a little switch with, like, little Mickey ears, which obviously I'm going to save this with my name on it because, like, duh. And then um, came in this, little seal on the back, like, extravagant packaging here. And then when you open it up, there's, like, all these little die cut stickers. And I think I even gave Bennett some of them, so there was more. Came with this, super cute. And then um, these are the stickers that I ordered. So I am super excited because I thought these were adorable. Um, and then again, you have all those like little die cut sticker flakes. Um, so I did order the Polaroid cameras because I thought they were really cute. I think that a lot of these are sized for like pocket uh, happy planners or something like that. So I thought they were adorable. I really don't like put them in a planner, but like I like the mini size when people do things like this. So. I thought these were adorable. They're adorably drawn. They're adorably cut. They're on a premium matte paper. And the it's like a really good stroke size for this size sticker. And I just think that they're really beautiful. So I love those. You have the like Mickey head cotton candies which I thought were super cute. These are like the perfect size. You have the little mini ears. Again, these sizings are really good. And then you have kind of like the little balloons, little backpack. And then you have this um, castle box. I thought this would be really cute just to do some like cool layering with. Also got it in the larger size. I think this is like super cute branding. I just think it goes with like the vibes of the any of the top bar. I just think honestly like it looks really good on all of it. It's all like really like crystal clear um and I really like that. I appreciate some good branding there. So I just think it looks really nice. It's like it doesn't it doesn't take away from the art but it has like a really cool look and I, I just really like it. It's this hand drawn cuteness. So these are larger and then you have like a different size. So between all of them, I end up having, this is like slightly smaller. I end up having three different sizes. I also got the backpacks in large and the balloons in large and the cotton candy hats in large. And then I also got two of these because there's not a lot of Disney spring stickers as far as like character stickers out there that I've found. Um, so I picked up these. They are like a little bit bigger. I wish you'd come out with like maybe like a mini sheet because I would eat these up. Um, but they are super stinking stupid cute and I just love them all so, so, so much. So that is my order from The Modest Cat. I'll link them down below. And last but sweetly not least, I do have an order in from Paper Muse Crafts, which I don't think I've ever ordered from before. But I got the sweetest note and the sweetest surprise. I literally squealed. I remember I was like, oh my god, it's so pretty in my name on here. I'm saving that. Everything was inside of these, like, vellum, so cute, vellum little containers. And then um, inside of cellos on top of it. She gave me a really cute note. Her handwriting is, like, next level gorgeous. And, um, yeah, and she sent me some stuff extra. And I'm, like, living uh, sweetest ever. Oh my god, okay. So I'm like so excited. I'm saving this one because I have my name on it because that's what I do. So I'll go over the stuff that I purchased first. So I did get this kit here, which I thought was super cute. So I'm going to start doing like work spreads because I do like a ton of stuff at work. And I thought it'd be cute to like, you know, write checklists that are obviously functional, but then also just write down all the things that I did to kind of look back on. And I want to be able to like do use like different people's kits. Also like the kits that I release. Obviously I release like three a week plus mysteries. So obviously I can't use all of those in my planner. So it's going to be fun to be able to do like different spreads with different styles. And this is amazing beautiful foiling and I love this format I just think it's perfect so um for like a mini kit you have the nine full boxes here you have the washi strips this kind of reminds me of like Jacenia style washi strips because they go like all the way across I feel like that's how Jacenia does it and that's kind of like what I related to um but obviously if you wanted to use this like for an Erin Condren style like how I do it you could just cut it it's not like a huge deal because these are already pre-cut so it works and then you have some headers so I think in her new format she changed it to like all like sprinkly headers so you do have to do today but then this one which I really think this is gorgeous and you have some little arrows squared off boxes labels flags headers deco flags uh, fancy labels uh date covers checklists circles some cute icons date numbers and that is everything 
super super cute um three of the pages are foiled so i feel like that's really really awesome and it's a really pretty like light gold which i love and then i also ordered the youtuber icons so i did order them in what did i do i think maybe i ordered them in their regular gold and then like the champagne gold i don't know I don't know. I don't know. Do I have an invoice around here? I never know what I do, guys. I don't know. So I ordered the YouTuber ones because I thought that, like, this was, like, perfect. So I got in silver and then gold. And I think I got, like, a hot gold. So maybe this is, like, gold and this is, like, champagne gold and this is, like, silver. I don't know. And then I also got the haircut bundle. And I thought that these were super cute because I don't have a lot of, like, haircut stickers. I'm, like, really torn on how to, like, store like foiled icons do i store them in my character stickers do i have like a need to have like a whole new foiled icon binder i don't even know and then these were the two freebies in the order so this is a 20 plus thank you freebie so it's just like some layering bits and then this is the regular freebie so you have some um like laundry icons which are super cute i really like that freebie i think it's super functional and then she also sent me a ton of other stuff so i'm like oh my god i'm gonna say these for last because they're so cute um, I got this kit here, which is called Noir, which is obviously like a black and white, like really pretty kit with the like champagne gold. Super, super pretty. I really, really like this. I'm kind of like I could use this in my actual planner and pull in like marble multicolor. It's really pretty. Okay, so you have the full boxes here the washi the headers like i told you before i have like the sprinkly bits on here i kind of almost would like it if it was like one two three and then you had like a couple of the pattern ones just so you could do like a full spread with those there might have been a la carte though so like don't don't quote me you have the like boxes and such and then you have the um dates icons stuff like that super cute super super cute super beautiful super great cuts and everything like that and then she sent me some extra extras, and first off, she sent me some poop stickers, which I didn't realize how many people watch my plan with me is because, like, everyone lets me know about my poop. So, if you guys didn't know and you only hear, watch my hauls, I had some poop problems right after I gave birth, and, like, everyone and their mom knows that I have poop problems now. I don't have, I don't have poop problems now, but I'm sure it'll come back someday, and also I could use easier baby poop and bubba poop if I'm, like, uh, training him to, to, like, potty train. Eventually, it's going to happen. <sighs> but they're like really really cute because they have bows and they're in silver and gold and then also there is just this like bow icon sampler which is fantastic in silver and gold and then this was like next level life changing almost cried it's so beautiful I squealed Nick was like what and I'm like look at these like she drew my little family and I could cry like little Ben and Theo and then me and Nick and Nick's like receding hairline is like on point <laughs> So you have these ones here which are just like super cute little outfits and then you have Disney inspired ones on the bottom and I'm just like living. Ugh. I like die. I just die, 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 die because they're so freaking cute. And then also the silver and gold which is so cute. I don't have any like character stickers of my like fam in like foil and these are just adorable. So I was so thankful like whenever people do something like this for me it's just like next level like oh my god. Ugh. I just like rubbed these on my face if you were wondering what I did so I just was like so thankful and I like messaged her because I was like why these are so cute I just like ah, I love like custom family stuff they're just adorable and she was like yeah like I don't know my drawing and I'm like they're good they're like so good like great they're, they're next level great I love them so that is everything from Paper Muse Crafts and I am like so in love with it it's so beautiful this is so cute so thank you thank you thank you thank you again and that's everything for this haul i know it's gonna be a little bit longer there's still so much more that's coming in the mail but i'm gonna have to cut it here so that it's not wild and crazy so i'll talk to you guys in my next video thank you guys for watching